Have you been wanting to create an app for your restaurant or food business, but just feel overwhelmed thinking that you have to know how to code? Well, let me introduce you to Jotform apps and show you how simple it can be. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform, I'm Kimberly. And if you are in the food business and you are wanting to create an app, let me show you the easiest no code app builder out there with Jotform apps. Now, to start off, if you already have a form that you're wanting to include in your app, you can just hover over the form that you'd like to use, click on the more option, and then under publish, we have create an app. Now you can also see at the top, we can click create an app here. Another really neat thing is you can choose multiple forms to create an app with. Again, you'll click create a new app up in the top, but let's say, Maybe I am not really sure and I just wanna create an app without a form in it, or I just wanna see other templates that are out there. Up at the top where it says My Forms, we're gonna choose My Apps. Now up in the top left-hand side, we have the purple Create App button. Now we can always start from scratch. If we know exactly what we want our app to look like, we can utilize that. But if we're not really sure, if we kind of get an idea of what an app can look like, we can take a peek at over 210 templates. Now from here, we can take a scroll and we can visually see what some of these look like. We can do a specific search for restaurants or the food industry up at the top, or over on the left-hand side, we can see some different categories that we can look at. We have some reservation apps. Down here at the bottom, we have some restaurant apps. So let's go ahead and start there. All right, so here are some restaurant templates. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one, the restaurant menu app. Perfect, let's go ahead and use this as a template. Now from here, every single piece of this is editable. So if your colors aren't green, we can change that. You can edit again, every single piece of this. So let's go ahead and take a scroll. It looks like we have a reserve a table. We can select food options, drink options. Looks like we have an image slider that we can look through some different images. We have social media where they can follow us at. Then we have this page break that allows for a new page. Here we have, we can order delivery or pickup. So we have a new page. So now we have, you know, rate us, give us your opinion. Then we also have a testimonial slider. We have a new page to contact us. We have the website, we have the contact information, and we also have a map. And then we can also see all of these pages down here at the bottom, the homepage, order food, feedback, and then contact us. So let's go ahead and go back up to the top and let's talk through how to make this our own. Over on the left-hand side, up at the top, we have add element, and it has all of the elements that you would expect from Jotform. So we have the heading, which is right here. We have paragraph text, we have a link, documents, images that you can upload, and we also have buttons. Going down, we have an image slider, which is what we're seeing right here. If you have a video for your restaurant or food business, you can add a video with a link. We have the map, social follow, the testimonials that we've seen. If you have any kind of data you wanna include, we have a table, report, or a scent box. And then we have a divider and then a spacer. Now, not only do we have these things, but we also have some really amazing widgets. And you can see there are a ton to pick from. If you are on social media, you can also include your Facebook like page and then also images from Instagram. Now let's say that you follow the process exactly how we did it. We came up to the new apps, we started from scratch, or we used a template. That means that we don't have a form connected to our app. So let me show you a quick way to do that. Under basic, we will choose the form option. Now if you click on form, it's gonna add the form to the very bottom, the very last page. So you want to choose the form and then put it exactly where you want it. So let's say I want it right at the very top, right above these buttons. From here, we'll choose which form we would like for them to fill out. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and add form. Perfect. So anytime you add an element or you select an element, you have these dots over here on the left-hand side. This will allow you to move that element wherever you'd like for it to be. Then on the right-hand side, because this is a form, we have the edit form option, but you're also going to have a settings and a delete option. So let's go ahead and choose settings. From here, we can change the name of the form, we can add a description, we can change the size, we can shrink it, we can make it required, and we can also change the style of it up at the top so we can see that it is a stark white form right now. So if we wanna change what this looks like, we can click on change style right here. 
And we can utilize one of these pre-chosen colors or we can customize if we would like. I think I just want it just a little off white. Perfect. Next up, it's automatically going to have the JotForm form icon. So if you would prefer to have something different, you can choose from any of these icons. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one on the far right. And I like this one, it looks like a little envelope. Perfect. Now let's take a look at the overall design and what the overall app feels like. We can click right up here in the app designer. And we can see that this green background is just a background image. So if you have something for your business that you'd like to use, you can remove this image and add your own. We can change the font family, any of the colors on here we can change. But one thing to consider is also in the app designer is the app layout. So if we click here, we can change everything in this app at once. So if we want everything to be centered, we don't have to go through each one. We can just click the button and it centers everything. So let's go ahead and let's see what center aligned does because right now the connect with me is left aligned. And there you go. It centered everything. Now from here, if we want to go back and change the colors of those, that is something that we'll want to do, but let's go ahead and go up to the settings option. Now from here, we have a few options we can allow our users to continue the forms at a later time. We also have the option to ask your users if they would like to add your app to their home screen, which is really neat. You'll get to see what that looks like. And then we also have the option for a progress bar. Now over on the left, we have the app name and icon that we can edit. So we can see this is exactly what our app is going to look like on our user's home screen. So if we want to change the name of our app, we can change it to our specific restaurant or food business. And then we can also edit the icon as well. So right now the app is utilizing an image, but if you'd prefer to use an icon or maybe your image, you can do that as well. If you want to use your own, just remove your image, or we can take a look at these icons over here. I'm a big fan of pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the pizza icon. Perfect. All right, let's go up to publish. Now from here we can, choose the copy the link button to send to someone one on one. We can also download a QR code that'll make it super easy for our users to scan the QR code to open our app. Or let's go ahead and open a new tab and let's take a look at what this looks like on a desktop. All right, so you can see right here, it says, hey, do you wanna add our app to your home screen? A very nice touch to this app. All right, so let's go ahead and take a scroll. Right now, remember, we are on the home page of this app. So we have just what that very first page was. We have the forms, and then we have the image slider, and then the social follow. So if we go up into the top left corner, we have the menu. And so we're on the home page. We can choose the order food option. Perfect. Next up, we have the feedback. And then last, we have the contact us. Perfect. So if you have any questions about how to create your own app with JotForm apps, the drag and drop no code app builder, please let us know and I'll see you next time.